The town of Florenceville, Bristol in New Brunswick is a small town situated on both sides of the St. John River in the central part of the province. The main road of the town follows the river and the town is surrounded by farmland and forests. When you visit, you will see that there are quite a few pieces of art on the streets. Public art is art that is made for indoor and outdoor public spaces and it's there for everyone to enjoy. Public art also brings everyone into contact with original art, making sure that art is a part of everyday life. Colin Smith's sculpture, Local Nature, adds beauty and uniqueness to the townscape, giving everyone something to look at, think and talk about. Each example of public art in the town was made by a different artist, but they seem to all share an appreciation of nature and each tells a different story. Art can communicate and celebrate ideas and themes that are important to the artist who made it and to the community where it is situated. In the mural above the door to the River Art Center on Main Street, artist Mike McEwing and the students he worked with celebrated the river with pictures of fish and fishing, the old covered bridge, canoeing and swimming. Public art strengthens connections between people while enriching our shared spaces. Deanna Musgrave's piece, Mirror, is two large round paintings that are hung back to back in the large window of the library at Carleton North High School. The artist was thinking about the circle as a portal or opening to the imagination, the internet, and to books and the future of learning when she made the paintings. She also talked to many members of the community and told their stories in her art, making connections through time. Public art that is situated outside can be made from many different materials that can withstand the weather. From this angle, you can see two pieces of public art on the front lawn of the gallery, one which is there permanently, and the crow, made by Gerald Beaulieu from Upcycled Tires, was a temporary loan from the Beaverbrook Art Gallery in the summer of 2021. The spirit tree, carved by Joel Palmer, was carved from the trunk of a tree that grew to maturity there. Joel Palmer carved the fish, fiddleheads, tree trunks and eagles that he felt capture the spirit of the area. It is also a landmark. When you see it, you know that you are at the gallery and library in the centre of town. This is the artist Stephen Hutching's sculpture titled Marriage Pole. It is a 25 foot high painted steel sculpture that tells the story of an historic Queen Anne style house that was built just up on the ridge of land behind Riverside Park. Public art is something we can all share and appreciate. Encountering a piece of public art can be exciting, give us something different to look at and sometimes to listen to. Along the boardwalk in the gazebo beside the river is a link to the poem Atlantis by the poet George Peabody. With a mobile phone, anyone can listen to the artist read his poem about coming of age when he was a boy living along the St. John River. The public art on the streets of Florenceville, Bristol make the town look different, unique, providing a strong sense of place and identity. When we think about memorable places, we often think about their icons like the covered bridge in Florenceville, Bristol or the marriage pole in Riverside Park. All of the public art in Florenceville, Bristol, be it poetry, painting, or sculpture, enrich the town and connect us to our shared stories.